I was born into a family of ministers and preachers and faith leaders from a uh, Wesleyan holiness tradition and uh, became a pastor in that myself and was a uh, pastor for nearly 30 years and uh, married because I thought that was my only uh, avenue or possibility uh, for the life I felt called to. And uh, when I had gone back to seminary, uh, working on my Master of Divinity, I had the first opportunity that I met someone and uh, kind of had a uh, brief affair that shook up my world and uh, caused me to begin to reach out and get uh, counseling. And uh, that led to me coming out to my wife about uh, 11 years ago now. And uh, eventually, after three years of uh, uh, therapy with her, to separating and going our own separate ways. And in order to kind of protect her ability to continue in ministry, I came out to the entire movement that we served in, resigned the church, and uh, then did my transition. And once I came out to everybody, of course, I was no longer needed in that uh, field. At the same time, another part of my profession for all those years was recording industry and uh, worked with a lot of the top artists in gospel and, and country music and uh, was no longer needed <laughs> in that area as well. And so that uh, uh, led to me eventually relocating to Wilmington, North Carolina as a divorced man and my first interactions with uh, the LGBT community. And it was a great change in my life. Um, I would say that my life has mostly been positive since. Uh, my uh, social, uh, atmosphere, building up my own kind of circle of family and uh, loved ones uh, to be a part of uh, has been found in this community. The downside has been economically. My economic life has been uh, pretty much uh, extremely difficult over the past decade and haven't had any kind of uh, health insurance or been hard to find any kind of full-time work to provide that since my entire uh, uh, resume was in uh, church ministry and uh, uh, music and that type of thing. So it was very difficult for me to continue forward as an out gay man uh, in a professional career. Uh, things have turned somewhat for the better, but I still find myself without uh, health insurance um, and uh, already having vision issues, going blind in one eye and the other eye following and not able to get the surgeries I need. Uh, so uh, issues for aging community and health and uh, all of that uh, for our community is extremely important to me uh, personally, on a personal basis. The rest of my life since then has been uh, enhanced by an reach out to others. Uh, a lot of former pastors that I served with for many years uh, have actually come out of the closet as well. Uh, and sons of pastors and family members and those people reach out to me on a regular basis, uh, including some former students uh, that have uh, more recently come out and they continue to reach out to me. So I'm able to minister in that way continually. Uh, but uh, so I'd say my life now has changed uh, for the better in almost every way except for economically. Uh, that's coming along and doing better. Uh, but I'm hoping uh, for a change for better services in our community with more access. Uh, and uh, that's what we're trying to do here uh, in the Wilmington area. And I'm excited about that and excited about being part of it. But my story is one of positive uh, 
outcome, even though it's been a very, very difficult decade of my life, uh, losing most of my family, friends, loved ones from the past, but coming into a new family uh, and a new community. And so I'm excited about the future. Share your story at sageusa.org backslash sage story.